Hey guys, it's Roger again from LowTempCooking.com. Yeah, I just got a bought myself a new Christmas present. I bought a uh, butane torch, uh, the top part here, and it connects to a butane cylinder that I uh, also have a stove that uses the same butane cylinder, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I was going to uh, go on YouTube and find out some tips and tricks on finishing sous vide food with a torch, and I didn't see anything. Nothing. So I thought, hey, I guess I better do it. So uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I'll probably mess it up since it's my first attempt at finishing a sous vide dish with a uh, butane torch. So over here we've got the uh, PolyScience sous vide professional. And I'm actually doing some chicken breast. And here's another tip for you. If you're trying to keep the heat in, you can use a piece of saran wrap. So I use that as a kind of a makeshift lid. But inside, it's a 140 degree Fahrenheit temperature water circulating. And I'm going to reach in and grab that chicken breast. i got two chicken breasts right there. And you can see their sous vide cooks are nice and moist. Um, they're just uh, vacuum sealed in a uh, high temp pouch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. Come over here. And... Um, Usually what I'll do if I use a knife to open these, just another little tip, is you can see the seam here. I'll just kind of cut with the knife just the seam so I'm not really dirtying the knife. And then I'll, uh, if I can get a hold of it, a little better. And then I'll just kind of tear the bag open, maybe. There it goes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and uh, set it on a plate. Again, there are two breasts here that will probably come apart. Again, I didn't see anything on YouTube, so I thought I would just uh, go ahead and do an attempt and see how it works out. I'm going to grab a paper towel. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to kind of pat dry this a little bit. And I think I'm just going to uh, do one side of the chicken breast. So I'm going to lightly season it with some, some salt and some fresh pepper. And then uh, we're going to give this a shot. I don't know if I should be putting uh, you know, some olive oil on it or anything like that. I'm just going to give it a shot and we'll see what happens. I'll probably turn it down a little bit and see what we got. Yeah, I don't want to burn it, so I'm being kind of careful. I just want to give a little color there to it, so it doesn't quite look like uh, just a piece of uh, poached chicken breast. And uh, some olive oil may have made a difference, so I might have to try that on the next piece here. And I don't want it to taste burnt, I just want to kind of Sear it off a little bit. See it kind of and I don't want to get carried away and burn it too much, so let's just try that. And then let's uh kind of see what we have here. Again, this was cooked uh sous vide at 141 degrees for about uh, three hours. I'm just gonna cut cut a chunk here and show you guys it's still very moist. Do a little sample. Looks good. Tastes like chicken. All right. Could use a little more salt. Now it's sort of dry on the outside where I tried to uh, use the torch, so I'm gonna try a little bit of olive oil on this one. So we'll, we'll see what the difference is. 
So, so far I sort of uh, like the pan approach to uh, finishing off the dish better than using the blowtorch. We're going to give this one a shot. Again, I'll zoom the camera in. See the sous vide supreme over on that side. Okay. Two minutes left on the film. Better make it fast. Now this one I'm doing a little bit of uh, olive oil on it. minute and a half of film left on there. I'm going to leave it there and uh, see what we got going on. So it looks a little more appetizing with the oil. We're going to taste it here. I know it's going to need some more salt. And we'll give that a sample. And again, you can see it's still pretty moist. Okay. Um, I like the uh, flavor better when I browned it with the uh, olive oil on it. It tastes a little better. Mm. I definitely need to experiment some more, but. Uh, Again, since I didn't see any YouTube videos, I thought I would make one. So I'm going to invite you over to lowtempcooking.com, and uh, you can discuss it in our forums, and uh, together we'll all find the answer we're looking for. Thanks a lot for your time.